What's good, ladies and gentlemen? King's Queen is Dallas Park here back in with another YouTube video for you guys today, man. You guys already know what we have for today, man. You Marvel fans out there, man. Daredevil fans to be exact. We got episode 10 of Daredevil. And guys, for you Marvel fans out there who love watching my Daredevil uh, series or you Daredevil fans, I know it's been a while since I post. Not a while, but like a week since I post last post a Daredevil episode. Uh, like I said in my previous in my scream uh reaction or my stranger thing reaction i've been pretty sick so i really couldn't uh post that week so um so i i, I just didn't post nothing that week so we're basically still on the right schedule so we're just going to be continuing on my daredevil uh schedule so right now we have we have episode 10 so I, i've been missing this show a lot i ain't gonna front with y'all huh <laughs> like, literally like, that's all i could think about is fucking Strange things and Daredevil and this, I, I, I'm just surprised I even this much invested into the series to, to be honest. Well, uh, well, really, I mean, I'm not surprised. I'm surprised, but really not surprised to be honest. Cause like I said, I love Marvel in general. Like I just love everything Marvel puts out. Even though this is take like a Netflix type of show, but Marvel is still based by Marvel. But like I said. I, I, I'm surprised and not surprised, so I don't know, man. It could be either or. All I know is that, man, the last episode that went went down um, on this fucking series is fucking literally like Nelson just now found out that Murdoch is, uh, you know, the man in the black mask. <laughs> I remember in my last episode, I kept fucking saying the black man in the mask. I don't know why I kept saying that, but that's... I must be racist, bro. I'm sorry. I'm just must be racist. But yeah, man, I'm just really curious of how Nuss is gonna act and how he's gonna uh, continue his friendship. I'll say, I'll say this friendship is gonna continue, but I want to see his initial reaction is gonna be like from the start. In the middle, he's probably gonna be used to it, and then they're you know gonna just keep it a secret from. I forgot her name, guys. It's been a week, so I forgot their assistant name. So. Yeah, man, I'm just really just hopping to this one right now, man, to be honest. But guys, man, as always, man, if you're new to the channel, please make sure you guys hit that subscribe button to help out this channel a lot, man, to so help this channel grow more, 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 more. Man, guys, we are in a steady growth, man. I love it, man. We're all more close to 150 subs, man. We were just at 100 not too long ago, man. We're always close to 150, man. So later, later, we're going to be coming close to 200, man. And I cannot wait till that day. But like I said, man, make sure you hit that sub. If you guys like the channel, man, if you guys don't, then like I said, can fuck off but yeah man uh, just you know it, like i said man if you like it man just so because that would generally help me a lot but yeah man that's enough said man guys man let's go and jump right into this episode 10 of daredevil oh yeah bro this nigga got fucked up fucked up y'all by that japanese man or korean dude i don't know what they call him but he got fucked up by whoever that was you stitched me up That was your nurse friend. Oh, uh-huh. You had me get a hold of her after you took a swing at me for trying to get you to the hospital. <laughs> for real? <laughs> He's swollen. <laughs> bro, okay, bro. You tripping now, bro. He don't even remember that. That's funny, though. Okay. Just tell me one thing, Matt. Are you even really blind? God, by the way, all perfect questions, guys, because he don't know who the fuck is, 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 this dude is at, in this point. Like, I mean, he don't know what's real and what's not, so all that makes sense of how he's acting. God damn it. Come on. Load. What the oh, fuck? No. What is this dude here? What are we going back to? Oh, we're going back to when they first met, dude. Oh, so we're going to get the whole backstory of the friendship. All right, I'm Sorry. down with us. I'm down with us. Blind, right? I... Uh, yeah, so they tell me. Bro, they really made this dude's hair look just like that little boy, dude. They, he look just like him, dude. You're a little freaky. But no offense. Please, don't take it. Uh. Bro, he doesn't look hard with them glasses, y'all. I ain't going to. I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep behind it with y'all, bro. Them glasses make him look like uh, a nerd. But you can see, right? Yeah, in a, in a manner of speaking. No, I... no manner. How many fingers am I holding up? He can't actually see if, if if that's what he's asking, bro. Like, but yes, he can see, but he can't see. Like, I really hope that's what Foggy is getting. 
Fuck, fuck, at least get your, uh, at least like hear him out, bro. Like, just come on, bro. Like, duh, definitely don't try to write him off so fast. Trying to find you when bombs are going off and we're worried. You just hit ignore. <sighs> this is gonna be hard for the friendship, man. I, like, guys, I don't, I, I don't even know what to say, bro. Honestly, like, this is definitely. I mean, I get what he's all, where all this anger and frustration is coming from. Like, no doubt about it. You know what's funny, guys? Like, I was just about to say, your old lady, he won't kill you. But, guys, he already killed old lady, y'all. I mean, he personally haven't, but, you know, he has other people to kill old people. So, I don't know, man. I don't know. So And, and also, also, he did say he, he has respect for her, but... Like I said, I mean, even that can go away. Man cannot be both savior and oppressor. Light and shadow. Mm. One has to be sacrificed for the other. Mm -hmm. Choose. And choose why. Girl, bro, this woman is giving me some motherfucking Mulan vibes or some shit, bro. Like, like I said, I ain't trying to be racist, but she definitely gave me some... You know, you. you know, the fucking Mr. Miyagi vibes. There you go. They say anything? They, um, they think you're improving. That's a goddamn lie. He's, he paused so hard as them, and she knows she's lying to Because she, you all about making a big splash, turning heads. You certainly turn mine. Mm. You guys know what she means. Big splash, turning heads. He definitely turned mine. Come on, now, y'all, bro. This is PG, man. Let's, 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 let's keep PG, boys. Oh, God. Doris. She's probably don't even realize where she at. Ten dollars on it. She, she, she probably don't even notice it. Hello, gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, she still knows him, but she has that, uh, 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 what's it called? Alzheimer? I think that's what it's called. <sighs> this is so sad. It's hard to explain, Foggy. I, my abilities, I, I just know things. Okay. No, not okay. Can you read my mind? Can you predict the future? Right, he don't have powers, Foggy, bro. Oh, God, man. Your face in my kitchen sink. I know okay, then. Lunch two days ago. Okay, bro. Oh, you're hungry and tired. Okay, bro. Fast your heart beats. Oh my god, you that is specific beat? things. The room? That sucks. I thought you might get a pass on that one. <laughs> no. God, it's definitely how crazy a wig. How, how a wig and just like I'm not sure if they shade him a little bit does to make you look younger because bro oh my god they look totally different right now <laughs> hey got a minute yeah oh god he's about to get fired please no no get you a bump better benefits you know for whatever comes up you know where to find me I about to say, dude, I thought he about to fire his ass right here because that would be kind of fucked up. Especially now nice with his wife and all guys, that would be really, really just fucked up. It's me again. Call me back. It's important. Guys, I forgot I haven't seen this show in a week, but I forgot how fucking hot this girl is. What the fuck? Her, bro, like her eyes is literally fucking ocean blue. And what the fuck is in that box? And who the fuck got it done? If I was her, I wouldn't open that shit. I'll talk that bit outside. Do I have to convince you again? Just how important this is? I know how important it is, Karen. It's just not the most important. Not to me. Not right now. There's a nursing home that I just heard about upstate. Uh, I think it might change your mind. Karen. No, just take a ride. Come on. And guys, I definitely noticed like earlier in the episode where he was looking at uh, that pamphlet and then looking at the cards and stuff on, on the board. And that's basically was him choosing between 
should I continue the story or I should focus on my wife? And obviously he's uh, talking about focusing on, on, on his wife. It was unsettling, if I recall. I think you're unsettling half the time. See me lighting a match? Wesley. Bro, this dude was always talking shit, bro. He's starting to piss me off. I mean, he been pissed me off, but he's really pissing me off now. Bro, like, this is it's out crazy out. how people be thinking, like, just because they have Monday, they can't get punched in the face. We're all in this together, right? What's left of us? Bro, why? Oh, bro. Yeah. Oh, if I was fucking this dude, I would fucking just... Oh my god, oh my god, bro, you probably pissed me off, man. Give us a minute. He's a little mad younger than this, so yeah, this is definitely him in the past. Well, him and Nelson. He did disclose trade secrets to a third party other than his doctor. He didn't. How the hell did you know? Because I, I have a feeling. <laughs> Last time I checked, those were in I, I, I have a feeling. No, but <laughs> that's when you know you can't tell the truth. What are you doing? Well, I'm gonna steal as many bagels as I can fit in this box. <laughs> you as my partner, there's no telling when I'll be able to afford a real meal again. Oh my god, <laughs> that's so funny, guys. Now I think think about it. I, I don't know well, how to feel said, about uh, Nelson here because he, but Nelson must be going through it. But like he trusts Murdoch so much, like throughout their entire relationship and. Just to get this bomb thrown at him, bro, it's like, really dumb. yeah, this has to be really bad for him. Your breathing changes when you're about to. Now you're just showing off. <laughs> I just showing off. The breathing changes when you're about to take a sniff. Wow, this place is really good, actually. Missions is on. This freaking uh, nursing home doesn't look too bad. Like, it's run by white people and it looks very rich. I can't afford this place. This is a waste of time. She about to use her money for. Let's just take a look around. Don't tell me she about to, she's about to use her money that she, she got from the people to put his wife in inside here. Like, for as long as that money's last. Crying in her bed in a building down the block. Her father liked to go to her room late at night. Oh, God. And his wife was asleep. Oh, my God. Jesus. That sounds terrible. Oh, bro, look at young Murdoch, bro. Oh, my God. He looks like a rookie. <laughs> yeah, he's a rookie in this for sure, for sure. First victim right here, boys. We're experiencing his first victim right now. Oh my God, he got a lot of blood on his fucking fist. Yeah, he he he, he ain't touched his daughter no more. Maybe it isn't only about justice, Matt. Maybe it's about you having an excuse to hit someone. Maybe. Maybe you just can't stop yourself. Maybe. And I'm pretty sure he. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty yeah. See, look, I'm pretty sure he knows that himself too. Like he just likes doing this. Come in. Well, I feel like this is her grandma or some shit or granny or somebody that she's related to because she wouldn't just do this on a, you know, on a whim. I would like it at St. Benazé. It's very nice, isn't it? It is. I know, but it's like a hotel and I'd be like, shit, you got a flat screen TV that she probably barely uses. Your husband, was that your first marriage? Arthur? Lord, no. He was my third. Third? Kept his name. Thought yeah, she was a hoe, boys. Always. I'm sorry. She's a hoe. Always loved her. Not nah, explain, y'all. She, she, she always trying to find herself, but beautiful. most of the time they're hoes. Did you have any children with your first husband? Karen. Just Bro, what's all these questions she's asking? I, I'm so confused with what she's doing here. Mrs. He's such a good boy. Comes to see me every weekend. Wait, is this Wilson Fist, mom? Gentle, sweet. Is this Wilson Fist, mom? Is is this Wilson Fist, mom? Oh wait, his first husband. Wilson. Fisk. Bro. 
I oh my card, I caught on so fast. Let's go, man. I'm sorry, I'm good. Wilson. Just wanted him to stop. Yeah, he, she about to spill all the beans that he his dad did not leave. He got killed by his son. Does anybody need a drink as bad as I do? Yes, please. It's a hell of a speech, Fisk. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Somebody can't hold his liquor. No, the burnt something in them drinks. What the hell is it? Y'all, his wife about to go go drop dead. Oh god, oh god. We need to leave now. Oh god, why well, feel like his wife about to about to get it? Vanessa! No, 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 no. Guys, why I had a feeling he didn't even drink out of it. At all. Vanessa. Oh. Vanessa. Number one, baby, maybe. Oh my god, I did not spend that first of all, like at all, like, br like I spent it because I knew it was kind of like I was kind of getting this sense in my head, like, yo, she is the only person at this group that got a who drank out of that fucking drink. So I just didn't want to bleed it out. That's about to happen. Karen, I wouldn't. Not from you. Yes, you would have. Yes, you would have. Okay. Yes, he would have. Yeah. Let's be honest. I do. Like and like, like no one can say that they would have told their friend instantly. Like if they start doing this, because first of all, you would never know that. And second of all, like if you were to protect your friend from not telling him, he would not tell him. You really want to do this? No. I'm pissing my pants. There's actual urine in my trousers. <laughs> and I trust you. And, bruh, y'all, these flashbacks is getting worse and worse for this situation. As in, how much trust Nelson has in Murdoch and how much he's just like, thinks that he knows everything about him just makes it like 10 times worse. Like, I, these, these flashbacks are building this relationship more and more and more. Like, I already knew they were best friends, but this is. Not know they were the bestest friends. Or oh, I mean, they're most likely probably still gonna be is the best, the bestest friends. But you know, right now is a big dent. Oh my god, bro! It's like I said, man. Like this is gonna be a tough, tough situation to mend. It's it's obviously gonna be mended by the time this season went ends. But to God, man, it's gonna be a really tough one. All right, guys, man, they have man. That was episode ten of the Netflix Once Upon a Time Disney Plus Marvel show, Daredevil. Uh, this episode was kind of slow a little bit. Not too much to learn. Not not learn because we did learn a lot about it in this episode, but not too much to like. What's the word? To be hyped over. Uh, but like I said, uh, but it was still like a really good educational episode about backstories and fucking past come back to the presence and fucking girlfriend getting drugged this is definitely uh one of the episodes but first i'm gonna start off by the wilson's uh part of this whole thing i want to i don't want to start with nelson's and murdoch because i want to say that for last but let's go to freaking uh karen and the, the black dude going to see his mom at first, I was so confused of why are we here? Like, why is she asking all these questions? Like, who is this random ass lady that she just knocked on the door? Like, bro, like, this is fucking weird. At first, I thought that was her mom or grandma, but she didn't know the fuck. She, she, she didn't know who that was. So, at that, I was just so confused until I heard something about uh, she said that her, her, her first husband was a drunk. And some about her son, and then I was like, "Wait, hold up, D is this Wilson Fitz's mom?" And then it turns out to be his mom, dude. That was an unexpected thing, which I love throughout this, through this episode. And I'm surprised she's still alive. On top of that, like alone, like she's not having more bodyguards or somebody to tell him, like, "Hey, yo, someone came to visit your mom," or you know, because you will think like he would try to lock up his past as much as possible. Of, of how much he's, you know, 
you know, uh, covering his past up. But uh, he probably didn't expect people to either care about his past or none of that, none of that so that's probably why. All I know is that his mom about to spill the beans about him killing his dad, and that's probably going to be bad for his campaign, or not campaign, but, you know, his way to rebuild a city. So he better, oh, my God, like, that right there was really good, and I'm glad we got that this episode with Jesus Christ. On top of that, like I said, guys, uh, I'm not sure if this is, like, uh, Karen's way of, of keeping him as a reporter or, like I said, she's she going to use that money that she got from uh what's that place called I I, I I i totally forgot that company's called but use that money to put his wife in there so it could go either way so it but it most likely would go to f the the first way i said of 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 her uh visiting his mom to keep uh this dude as a reporter and not to take care of his wife i mean that kind of sounds selfish but i, I mean it, it, it to me it makes sense i don't know it might be now let's go to the part where his wife got drugged, bro. <laughs> if she dies, all hell will break loose. Like, this dude will drop all his morals. Like, that should be out the window. Oh, my God, dude. Like, and I will feel so bad, too. Like, I really hope she doesn't die. I really hope he gets her to the hospital. Because if she dies, bro, like I said, all hell will break loose. I mean, even now, like, she got close to dying. Even getting close to dying, like, he probably was still fucking wreak havoc so i don't know man like i said i really hope she's okay because i do not want to see like a very very bad fucking wilson fist like i want to see keep saying this smart uh loving bad bad guy wilson fist because i love seeing this but like i said if she dies we that's gonna be out the window for sure and guys like i said in that like i knew like i mean i didn't say it on the spot because i was thinking it i was like bro what if this fucking drink is spiked? Like, cause like, like I said, there were only two cups on that fucking plate. And I was thinking, wait, he might be trying to take out his wife. But I said, nah, that makes no sense. Like, why would he do that? So that means somebody else did that. And I wonder who fucking uh, spiked all them drinks and that. It's probably a uh, gal. I feel like gal did that, to, to be honest. Cause I mean, that's probably my only option. Either that or it's uh, Mr. Miyagi, dude. So, we definitely got a couple options of who might have sp spiked her drink. Obviously, not there though, because he would not kill innocent people just to get it fit. So, yeah, man, that's another fucking surprise fucking thing like that happened because I knew like sh she about to go down as soon as I see other people with, with drinks in their hand that's like about to fucking gone. Start dropping. So, I'm like, yeah, that's it. She's done. Dad, she's dead. Mm -mm. What's his fist about to tear some shit up? But I don't know, man. Like I said, man, that's definitely one of the top tier moments in, in this episode. In this episode as well. And lastly, man, the final plot, dude, and it, majority of this episode, Nelson and Murdoch's friendship. Like I said, guys, I get where everything he's coming from, uh, Nelson, Nelson wise, because like as the episode went on, like it makes sense why he would be this pissed off. And you know, uh, this saddened and this questionable about their friendship. Cause as far as he knew, Murdoch told him everything. Like Murdoch, like he he knew everything about him and he trusts him. And to have this bomb being dropped on him that, hey yo, bro, your best friend is a fucking vigilante, bro. Like your best friend killed this many people. Your best friend this entire time knew you were lying in moments where you thought you were safe. <laughs> And your best friend is this entire time had all these heightened senses that you literally knew nothing about. So there's a lot of things he did not know about his best friend. So like I said, it makes sense. But also, I, I'm not 100% with Nelson. Uh, you got to think about Oren Murdoch's side. Like, you, you got to think about where he grew up, man. You got to think about why he didn't tell you these things. It's like... Like I said, he, he want to keep his best friend safe. And as a vigilante, if you tell your best friend, like, I don't know, like, it's just, I mean, sometimes I get that in movies and shows where the vigilantes uh, try to keep their friends safe by not telling them. But it, 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 like I said, it, it literally all depends because 
unless if you're like a mass man like 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 he is right now in this show it makes sense to keep your best friend out of the loop because um if, if you were to get your friends in a loop your best friend will be wanting to help out your best friend would have would want to you know uh put himself in danger obviously i mean obviously I mean that's not your choice to make for for your friend but you know uh, it makes sense why murder would make that choice just to keep his friend safe so like i said i mean you, you gotta think both ways at all of this man and this is the, this is gonna be a tough road for the first for sure. Like this is gonna be a big gap right now. He's he's going through it, so it makes sense why he would think that this is over. But in about episode two, they're obviously gonna get back together. So that's why I'm not really worried about this uh, them breaking up the uh, breaking up the band. Uh, all those are Karen. <laughs> All those that when when Karen come back, she she gonna be mad, confused. Like, yo, why the fuck is my son that I just gave y'all niggas <laughs> uh, is you know in the trash? You I mean you better get that bitch out of there. At least you better hurry up before that fucking garbage man comes in, cause it's over, man. But I don't know, overall, man, I, I, I quite enjoyed this episode. Like I said, it's kind of slow episode, so I'm gonna rate this like a. 8.5 and 8 uh like i said uh 8.5 is my final rating towards it man and i'm just whew, can't wait for the next episodes man to come to the next week you know all right guys man that's it for today youtube video man please make sure you guys hit that like button subscribe youtube channel hit that notification bell as well guys and big guys please comment on today's video we got come on today's video comment what you guys like about this episode 10 of Daredevil and or comment what you guys want me to write to next man from shows wise movie wise I write to anything you guys want me to man because I'm literally like got my list about to be cleared out of movies wise I think I got one more movie requested to watch and I'm pretty clear after that and Strange Things is almost up so that's also a show another show that I could touch upon that's like you know if you guys don't request i'm probably gonna just react to another marvel movie i mean a another marvel show but like i said man, request 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 and i will get to your thingy yeah i said thingy well guys that's pretty much it for today's video man just make sure you guys stay beautiful stay blessed and see you guys next one, man peace